You're watching a free sample video from Teachers Test Prep. For videos like this one covering every area of your exam, visit us today at www.teacherstestprep.com. Inference. Um, infer in inference questions, you're going to be asked to draw some conclusion based on the information presented in the passage. So, what does this mean? What are they trying to say? What can I infer from this? Um, so that's sort of taking what they've given you and sort of going, uh, taking it and sort of figuring out what other things would be true based on what they've told you there in the passage. Um, so a couple of strategy points for this type of question. Make sure that all parts of your conclusion can be directly supported by evidence in the passage. Um, a lot of times there are wrong answer choices um, that are partially correct but add something that's not supported by the passage. And it may be that that thing is either, even somewhat plausible uh, that they've added on there, but there's nothing in the passage to support it. So. Um, Maybe they're talking about the price of a certain type of good, and then it talks about why that good has that price, and then they say the conclusion is that the price of this good is higher than this other good, and that part is supported in the passage, but it says, and will remain so for years to come. Well, maybe there's nothing in the passage that has anything to do with whether or not that's going to continue to be true. It only supports that it was true in this one year that the study was done. So it may be plausible that that thing will continue to be true. But if it doesn't directly support it in the passage, then that's going a little bit too far um, and going beyond what can be supported. So that's probably an answer choice you should try to eliminate. Another thing is beware of sweeping generalizations. Words like all, always, none, and never can often be red flags to you that something is too generalized because almost nothing is always true or never true because you can usually find some exception to just about anything. So if they're, if they're describing something, um, again, this product outperforms this other product, and then the conclusion is this product is always a better performer than this other product. Well, maybe in this one little uh, part of this one country, people prefer this other product. We don't know, right? Um, because they're describing something in general. So don't uh, basically be very, very careful and cautious about choosing any answer that says something is always true or that it's never true or that all of something does something or something never does something. These kind of extremes are usually not the case. So just be careful of those in your answer choices that relate to inference. We hope you found this free teacher's test prep sample video helpful. For more videos like this one covering all the subject matter and strategy you need to pass your exam, visit us today at www.teacherstestprep.com.